Well, hi everyone. I wanted to share with you exciting brand new inflammation research from the July 4th, 2024 issue of Science Magazine. I'm discussing this with Dr. Jaffe, a senior fellow from the National Institute of Health. It correlates with his T lymphocyte response assay testing done at the ELISA ACT Biotechnologies Lab. What I'm excited about is this research allows you to be in control of your health. So Dr. McGuckin, you have a family practice par excellence. Oh, thank you. You help many people that have been everywhere and you find solutions because you look more deeply at the causes, not just the consequences, not just the symptoms. Yes. But tell us why you are so excited about the work we do together uh, in practice. Well, we, we have a test, the, the lymphocyte response assay test from the Lysac Biotechnologies. And this test allows people to be in control of their own health. It is the number one test where I can actively do this and just say, now you can decide how you want to feel. People are, well, they're, they're skeptical, but then when they get the test results and they come back and they're like, hey, I, my headaches are gone. This is gone. That's gone. My bowels are moving like they're supposed to. Um, things, life is better. That's exciting. And, and what I wanted to uh, add, I had a, a question for you, is as I came across um, a, a research article, now this is in Science Magazine, and as you, as you taught me, the Science Magazine is a really good uh, journal, and, it's the, and it was recent, it was July 4th, uh, 2024, and it was from the Riken Center of Integrative Medical Sciences in Kyoto University, Japan, and the Institute of Molecular Oncology in Milan, Italy. Now, and, and what, I, they, what they were able to collaborate and, and do, and this is, what I, and this is because our, our lymphocyte response assay test is measuring the same exact white blood cell that they were measuring, which is the activation of T lymphocytes. So they were able to isolate rare helper T cells that were associated with autoimmune responses and causing trouble in people. So out of 1 million cells that they looked at, T lymphocytes, they found 606 that were causing 18 different immune-mediated illnesses. So I wanted to ask you, how, what did they do? And, and, and from what we know, that it, by doing our our testing method to reduce the inflammation in the body, it helps the immune system repair itself. And I wanted to ask how you do the, how the two tests are doing the same thing, and then how to get into the detail on how we're repairing the immune system. Right, we have been measuring T cell responses, immune complex responses, and we have been distinguishing helpful from harmful antibodies since 1983-84, they have done an elegant further demonstration that when you lose tolerance, when your immune defense and repair system starts to attack you, because you have burdened it too much with defense work and not given it enough opportunity to repair itself through restorative sleep and through the many mechanisms that exist in the body, because, as you correctly said, inflammation is repair deficit. Inflammation is not a fire to be fought. Our mechanistic misunderstandings of many aspects of biology persist in conventional circles, but they have been superseded in the research community, and we have been leaders in making clinically available what was known for many, many years, which is that the T cells the T-class lymphocytes are the most important for distinguishing tolerance and intolerance, autoimmunity versus repair ability. And we want to implement, to offer to you, for you to implement, a roughly three to six month restorative, reparative, rehabilitative plan that improves restorative sleep. It improves how you feel and function. It makes you a little bit more flexible if you're willing to stretch. It does many, many good things for every aspect of your body, especially as you said, the digestive tract or the microbiome. Yeah. 
So we are on the cusp of a paradigm shift towards prevention, towards Good. true health promotion. And you, for decades, have been leading in your area, providing these kinds of tools and, importantly, interpretations. Because if I tell you you have a lymphocyte that's intolerant, but I don't tell you how to restore tolerance in the lymphocyte, I don't think I've really done my job. And as you know, we've done over 100,000 specimens. We've done 30 million cell cultures. We have the most precise cell culture clinically available. Now, what these colleagues, what these researchers did yeah. was then prove that these T-class lymphocytes know where the repair deficit is, where the inflammation is, and they will home in on whatever part of the body is self-attacking, any part of the body that is autoimmune, any part of the body that is inflamed. This is just the T-class lymphocytes knowing their business. But I've said, and I need to emphasize that if you don't do a cell culture, you don't get the T-class lymphocyte information. You don't get immune complexes. You don't distinguish helpful from harmful antibodies. So today, I would say, and I've been saying this for a little while, do an LRA by ELISA Act, and the more comprehensive you are today, the better. I'd like you to talk to us over time. You have seen, I think, some shifts in the kinds of reactions that you observe. We do foods and preservatives, but we also do toxins and environmental chemicals and even molds and, and uh, dander hair and feathers as options. And we, we find the more complete information you have about what is burdening the immune defense and repair system, the more you're able to restore them to good health, to a thriving life, not just a surviving life. Right. We, we've, uh, decades ago, we've, we, we would do the testing. It was predominantly food reactions. Uh, stay away from a particular food and the symptom. The immune system was able to repair very rapidly. Today, the amount of preservatives that are in the foods, the fungicides, the, the, the residues on, on the fruits and, and vegetables, whatever, the tea, the, 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 the non-organic food sources, um, it's the environmental pollution. I, the United States is a very clean place, but the, we still have a, we, we got a lot of cars. There's a lot of car exhaust in, in, in our, it, what we found is the amount of antioxidants needed to detoxify, to help the, the, the antioxidants that are helping us make cell energy to remove these chemical burdens. And what we found is we, we, you can't eat enough oranges to overset what's we're in coming in contact with. So now when we do the allergy test, um, the, the enormous amount of burden from chemicals, heavy metals, uh, molds, these, these, these items now are superseding the foods. And, they're, and then now the repair takes longer because we have to get these chemicals out. We have to move the heavy metals out in order for the cells to repair. So we, we do, I do like testing over 400 items. Uh, if we test just, just the basic, a banana, you you miss all the other chemicals that are the 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 um, the, 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 the the sprays the, the the farmer sprays all these other chemicals that we're we're exposed to has to get out. So when we do the um, lymphocyte response assay test, we also do an omega three and omega six concentr uh, concentration test. The cell permeability is so, so important. And that was, and we talked about this before, it was a game changer when they were able to perfect the accuracy of that test, which goes back to... Bill the, Harris. Bill Harris has done a yeoman's job of documenting 8% or more is what you want. Most of us have many times more omega-6 than omega-3. We need to supplement the omega-3 and have omega-3 rich diets and reduce the omega-6 because the omega-6 is in the processed foods and beverages. And, and what's fascinating is we will see an overnight improvement <clears throat> when we've reached that 
cell permeability, where now the cells can come to life and the body can detoxify through the lymphatic system, we will see, and they just get better overnight. It's the next time I see them, they're all better. And it's, it's comical. The, the, it's, I shouldn't say it's comical because it startles me when they, they come in with some significant problem. And this one fella said to me, he goes, I'm all better. I'm here because you told me to be here, but I want to go. <laughs> and he had a significant issue. So, but, but we were able, the, this particular fella had a, um, an exposure to, uh, uh, it was a pesticide spray. Oh, in your area, it's very common for the air to be polluted, for the for the biocides to drift and be in the air, in the soil, in the water. And just recently, the EPA has finally, after decades, uh, forced the farmers of brassica. This means like broccoli and cabbage and okra and other brassica vegetables are massively contaminated with a cancer-promoting chemical that has yeah. been banned all over the world except in America. Yeah. Finally, finally, the EPA is catching up. Okay, I think they should be congratulated for taking a step and hopefully more steps to come because as you correctly said, commercial produce is contaminated too much today with everything from microplastic to glyphosate to other harmful environmental chemicals. And we can reduce by 80% the exposure and the other 20% we can support our liver and kidneys to detoxify, to get them out of the body. As you said, if you keep the burden on the body, the body will be burdened. You'll be in survival mode. You won't be thriving. We want people to be thriving. We want people to be able to repair as well as defend themselves. We want people to get restorative sleep and be able to digest, assimilate, and eliminate the foods they eat. And, and we wouldn't be able to, and we would not have known this if, if we weren't testing for it. <clears throat> and we have the accuracy with the, with the test that we can, we know with great certainty that this is accurate. So it was fascinating. We, this person was sensitive to this particular pesticide. It was a pesticide. We chase down his exposure. We we uh, <clears throat> do what what we are trained to do: the uh, vitamin C cleanse. And the vitamin C with the score bait vitamin C is stimulating cell energy to remove these things from the cell again because the omega three oils were present. And once his body released it, he was fine. But what's fascinating was we were able to identify it and show it to him, and it made had a particular sense to it. And that's why I like this article from Science Magazine, because they were saying not only do we know that the, these T cells are causing the inflammation in an abnormal fashion, they were able to prove it. So now it's not, and, and now we can, can, we can help with this information. Now we can go the other direction and restore balance and begin the repair and healing process. Which is really that, that's, that's, that's so exciting. That's why, that's why we serve colleagues like yourself. We provide interpretations as well as, and you correctly said, the most accurate, precise, reproducible cell culture in the yeah. world. We've reported this at peer reviewed meetings. We reported over 4,000 consecutive line split samples with 2.2% variance, which meant excellent reproducibility. And we feel that's necessary to make available to you our service. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to pioneer many technical aspects, but we're happy to have done that for many, many years and be able to be consistent within the service that we want, the, the helpful service that we want to provide. Yeah, so it's it's working out fantastic, and I was just thrilled that the research community was in their in their direction. The two are starting to meet, so they're, they're, they're coming together. They are, coming and that together. and that oh, oh, provides the opportunity for future collaboration in that direction, and that would be really exciting to bring your data into your your because of all these. 30 years of, of uh, 
data proving that we can identify the bad guys and then repair it, repair the, 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 the system. So that, that had my so interest. important, both of those. Identify accurately and completely and then know what to do to restore tolerance and repair. Because this research is at the cusp of a paradigm shift. That's a lot of information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'm happy to answer your questions.